I had a bet with my friends that I'd never do the same headshot. Really? For a while. Okay. And so now it's, it's a, oh my God, that's hilarious. From downtown St. Paul, this is Posted Up with Ryan Carter. Welcome back to Post It Up. I'm Ryan Carter, back here at the Tap House. And growing up, picture day at school was, was the best day, the biggest day of the year. And I think that was the case all the way until you graduated, then all of a sudden it became the worst day of the year. Take, for example, my headshots in the NHL. It's easy to look back and second guess everything. We've got no t-shirt under the jersey, bold move, messy hair, little wet, but a bright smile, chubby cheeks, thick neck, big deal. Then you get to the middle ages where he looks sickly. Why couldn't he smile? Drop this guy. <laughs> to finally, all right, a t-shirt underneath the jersey, looks sharp. He realized that these pictures might last forever. Got the hair tight, looked good for camp, and was ready to go. It wasn't just me. The veteran guys need to teach the young guys how important picture day is early on in their career, as some of the vets on the team pay for their early decisions. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice hair. Yeah, yeah, he was going through a phase, I think. He has an age, though, so that's why it's hard. Yeah, I like it. It looks fast. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, this is a bold look. Do you get people saying maybe you should go back to that look? Um, my little brothers were rocking the look. No, it hurts too much in the in the helmet. Wow. Yeah, this is a couple years ago too. I see. I probably that's probably 2010. Look at the chain. Wow. Oh my God. 2008. The chain, the chain is, it looks like off of a bike, bicycle chain. 2003, he's old, eh? <laughs> 2003. 2003. I was in high school. Uh, hey boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little while ago, jeez. The hair, uh, a little more, yeah, more organized, less spiky, maybe. The teeth don't, uh, just as big though, they don't, they don't <laughs> shrink or nothing. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this one before, it looks a bit more skinny. Ah, same smile, maybe a little less gel, gel nowadays. You're saying we both hope we can play uh, long enough to see these reds retrofitted. I think he's more skinny on this one. Wow, that's a bad picture. <laughs> I don't know what that is actually. Did I have a sweater on there or is that the jersey? Should we bring the red back? The red jersey? Yeah. I don't mind it actually. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Zuki, okay, it's New York. 25 maybe, so seven years ago maybe? 10, oh, 12 years ago. Yeah, it looks the same though, it's nice. <laughs> Same hair all the time. <laughs> there we go. 2014. What? 2010? Alex. The goose. Oh, goose. Wow, I didn't know he had to even rock the buzz head. I don't think he can go back to a buzz cut. I'm gonna say 2000, so like flower, 2004. Oh. 2009? Seven. I kind of look like a meathead. I actually don't know that who that is. That's a, that's a... Harsey. <laughs> 2013. Jersey is not even close to center either. Harry and Harry are now more adult. It looks like a first, uh, first year in chill. The guys are aging pretty well, I guess. I think it's eight years ago, 2015. Yeah. Yeah. 15? Yeah. Oof. That's rough. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. First year. <laughs> what? It's two years ago. It's my first year. I don't know. I, when I come, I zero times uh, been in haircuts. He looks Russian. Whoa, jeez, that's young. Doesn't look, doesn't look that good in orange. Oh my God, that's hilarious. He should go, go back to this one, this, uh, this haircut. Uh, With the Dragon Ball Z haircut. Oh, oh, spiritually. Huh. 
This is, uh, I think, when Jared was born. <laughs> he looks about 15 there. Yeah, spirit has got to be 18. 2000... 2011. 2008? Nailed it. Yeah? Nice. 2008? Oh my god. Ah, damn. I know he's that old. But... What were you doing in 2008? I think just practice and school. <laughs> Spirit playing the chill. Oh, that one. So 2008, I'm guessing. I think I just rolled out of bed. And this went right there after fitness testing. You guys can burn that one now. <laughs> you can get rid of that one. Sorry, Spurge, you may have styled your hair with a glove dryer that day, and that is hot, but unfortunately, it's not hot enough to burn that picture. That's going to last for a long time. Hey, listen, we caught up with some of the dads. We had a fun trip down in Florida. We wanted to ask the guys, hey, what makes their dad a dad? No thermostat is safe, and watch out, here come some jokes. What is the most stereotypical dad move? He's always wearing uh, sports clothing. Um, I think it's funny. He's always wearing my, like, Hockey Canada and Minnesota stuff, and, um, just anything comfy you can get his hands on. My hockey one would be when uh, our basement wasn't done. So I built uh, tarps up so he could shoot down there and him and his uh, buddy would be down there uh, shooting pucks around that. And I'd always, they'd always joke about this that I'd, I'd uh, yell down, boys, no saucer passes down there. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd have to say it goes back to coaching when I coach Sam and uh, when I get out there and try to demonstrate something on the ice for the kids, whether it be skill or skating or whatnot, and he would just kind of like, Dad, don't, don't even try it, don't even bother that because I was just so horrible at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he overestimated his skill a little bit, but uh, <laughs> he was a good coach, yeah. What is your most stereotypical dad thing about your dad? Probably what time he wakes up in the morning, very early. Is that, is that the, the, the farm boy mentality in him? I don't know what that is, but I, sh I don't get up as early as he does, that's for sure. What does he pick on you about for being a dad? Well, I think it would probably be uh, it's him and my daughter. They, uh, they talk about me third person, like I'm not in the room when I'm around. So I think it's that unwise old guy thing they pick on me off. Things that make me probably look like a, an old Italian guy. There's, uh, maybe it's my black socks with my flip flops in the summertime on a hot day. Yeah, that's probably it. He's got that Italian background, so I think he tries to act a little bit uh, um, paisan. He finds, he finds the Italian guys on the team. Um, but uh, the one thing that I think he always does is anytime he enters a room, he's, he's the guy that, that has that presence. And um, every day is a good day, Mr. Positive Attitude. So um, that, that's, that's the one thing that uh, probably is the most stereotypical thing about him. Well, fun stuff coming out of the locker room, but hey, listen, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I don't think it's long till we see Marcus in black socks and sandals at the beach. Hey, listen, his dad played in the NHL, so does he. Only makes sense. That's it for Post It Up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.